In this video, we're going to be looking at how to bond new concrete to old concrete with a PVA slurry. And what is PVA? Well, PVA is polyvinyl acetate or glue, white glue. That's what you might know it as, and you definitely recognize the smell as soon as you open the bottle. So uh, PVA or modified PVA product, um, that's what we're using here. The first couple of applications for bonding new concrete to old concrete, we're using latex. And this is something that I use for you know, water application, things where I'm worried about water permeability or chemical resistance. PVA is a different applications. Again, through these videos I'm, I'm showing there, it's a really deep and technical world working with concrete. And the applications that I would use PVA for would not be the ones where it's, you know, underwater or something like that. That's not what I would do. Uh, but if I had, you know, like a repair I needed to make to uh, something that was above grade or something that is interior, something that doesn't get a lot of water exposure, then, then um, a PVA product is, a PVA slurry would be something that would be ideal for that. And it's definitely good for plaster. It's used for all kinds of plaster applications. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing here. And in order to do so, I need to wet this concrete down. This has already been prepared, acid washed, cleaned, neutralized with TSP, cleaned again, and this is, this is how you properly prepare concrete in order to bond the new concrete to the old concrete. And with the, this product here, the PVA or weld bond, it calls for 10% of the product by liquid volume. However much water you're going to use in your concrete, add 10% of that water, this product. And it, it, because it's glue, it acts just like glue. You know, it's, uh, it can add a lot of benefits to a concrete. And it's something that you can add, not just as a bonding layer, but you can add it throughout the mix. And that's, you know, but again, this is application specific stuff. And that's why concrete professionals exist because there's a lot of ways that you could get a chemical interaction wrong. Like this PVA product that we're talking about here, if you use it in conjunction with the latex acrylic or the SBR latex, you're probably gonna have a problem with it. And you're like, okay, cool, I won't do that. But there's so many products that have that in that, like thin set and different modified things that you're never going to know. And that's the point, is you have to be careful with concrete. There's so many different ways that the concrete can react in a way in which you're not expecting. So with this application here, what we've done with this PVA slurry is we have that modified concrete where we've just made a regular three-part sand, one-part Portland cement mix of mortar, and then we've replaced 10% of the liquid volume with that PVA product, pasted that on, and now I'm applying a three to one mix of just sand and cement. No other products in this here to interact with the PVA. And I'm applying this before that bonding slurry skins over or dries. That's very, very important. Something that in my original video, uh, the reason why I created this whole series, I didn't specify that enough, that you really have to have the old concrete needs to be wet before you apply the new concrete. That's incredibly important. And I think that when you add the new, the new slurry on there, if it's not quite wet enough, it, it, so, it dries so fast. It dries like literally before your eyes. So a lot of people, even despite their best efforts, that slurry might skin over before you get ready. So you, you have to repaint it. It has to be wet with the slurry when you apply the new concrete over that. And that's how you bond new concrete to old concrete with a PVA slurry. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.